This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Trump hires former apprentice contestant for White House role. By Ron Capshaw. President-elect Donald Trump is hiring someone he once fired. Amarosa Manigal, 42, has been asked by the Trump transition team to serve in the Trump White House, the team announced on December 28, 2016. Manigault will serve on the White House staff in a job dealing with public engagement. Manigault, who once worked in the office of Vice President Al Gore during the President Bill Clinton administration, worked as director of African American outreach for the Trump campaign. In an interview with 2020, an ABC investigative news program, she said that during the campaign she received threats and a lot of flack for her support of Trump. Because of this, she vowed that, I will never forget the people who turned their backs on me when all I was trying to do was help the black community. But Manigault has a longer history with Trump than just campaign work. She appeared as a contestant during the first season of the Trump Helm The Apprentice on NBC in 2004. Her aggressive tactics made E. Name her reality TV's number one bad girl. In an interview with Jet, an American weekly developed for a black readership. She dismissed such labels, instead calling herself merely a shrewd businesswoman. In defending herself, she struck a feminist note. She said that her aggressive tactics were permissible for men to practice but not for females. Trump was so impressed by her that she became the only contestant asked back to the show, now repackaged as a sequel to The Apprentice entitled Celebrity Apprentice, in 2008. Trump fired her in the tenth episode in a contest between her team and one led by British journalist Piers Morgan. The contest involved selling artwork against the Morgan team, and Manny Galt suffered a defeat that Trump called the biggest slaughter in the history of The Apprentice. Nevertheless, Trump wanted to work with her again. Both of them partnered up to develop The Ultimate Merger, a dating show aired on TV One in 2010. Amarosa received a preacher's license in February 2011 from her church, Weller Street Missionary Baptist Church in Los Angeles, California. Her reason for doing so concerned an incident she witnessed on a visit to an orphanage in West Africa. During the visit, she witnessed a little girl dying of AIDS, it was that moment, looking into the face, the eyes of this dying child that I received my call to the ministry. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.